Elizabeth said, how can women initiate contact while leaning back? Or what are things we can do to show we are interested while leaning back? Just send them a message. Just ask them a question. Just initiate contact. That's all initiating contact is. Yeah, I mean, you don't even have to send anything special, right? Like, it's funny because I, I get women that are that get like offended by guys who like they'll reach out and be like, hi, right? And I, I, I have women sometimes they'll be like, he just sent me a hi. Like, what does that mean? What does he want from me? Right. Well, he wants to connect, right? That's a connection message. And that's all you have to do is you have to just send out a message and just be like, Hey, you know, how are you doing? What's going on? Right. Just connect with them. That's it. That's all you have to do to show them interest. Right. And that that's what you do. And like I said, it's not about, you know, leaning back doesn't mean that you never initiate contact. It just means that you initiate it. You try to initiate it less than him so that you don't get yourself into trouble. But it, it going to that other extreme where you're never initiating, that's going to get you in trouble too. Because what's going to happen for in most situations is that he's going to think that you don't really like him that much, right? Why don't you ever reach out to him, right? You can reach out to him. It's not a problem. It's like, to, a lot of women think that it's like a technique, right? Like leaning back is this technique that I do during these certain situations. It's more of a lifestyle, right? It's more of a lifestyle component where you're creating space for him to move forward and be there with you. And the mistake, the misconception is thinking that it's this thing that you do, right? During this period of time, well, I'm leaning back right now, so I can't contact him. No, you're leaning back all the time. And if he's been moving forward, if he's been initiating contact, if he's been doing things to show you that he's into you, then you can do that sometimes as well. You just don't want to be doing it the majority of the time, not because you're trying to play a game or something like that, but because if you're doing it all the time, you're going to miss out when he, something weird goes on, right? When something happens, when he stops being into you or something else weird goes on and, and, and uh, you, you won't notice it because you're leaning forward all the time. And so leaning back doesn't mean you never initiate contact or anything like that. It just means that you give him space and you allow him to lead the relationship and to be the man and to pursue you and do all those things. But you can reach out to him, especially if he's been pursuing you, right? If he's been pursuing you and he's got movement forward and you're in kind of this thing that I call a whirlwind, right? You're in a whirlwind courtship where you're just like loving on each other and it's just so great. And you guys think that you're both just so awesome. You can do all kinds of things. You can, you can contact him. You can initiate contact. You can set up a date. You can drive to him. You can do all these things because he's been doing those things with you to a higher degree. But if he hasn't been doing those things with you to a higher degree, don't do any of those things, right? Lean back and give him space and allow him to start doing those things because it shows you, it shows you what his interest level is. But at the same time, what you do shows him what your interest level is as well. I hope that answers your question, Elizabeth, because that's very on point. So I, thanks for asking a really great question. 